If any man be in Christ, he is a new creation. All things are passed away. Behold, all things have become what? New, 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 new. But I said to you that before we got born again, we had our old mindset before we came to be born again. We have a certain old mindset which we have before we got born again. And unfortunately for some of us, we have kept that mind and we have established that mind in us that we cannot be blessed we still have that old mind so we can be blessed Jesus said you can't put a new wine into an old bottle neither can you put an old wine you understand you understand to a new bottle so if you want to put a new wine into a bottle there must the bottle must be changed first you must do everything in your power to change the bottle otherwise it will not work the way you expect it to work so i said to you last week our mind has become the greatest enemy to the change of our lives we can't change our life because our mind is not changed we still have the old mindset we still think the way we used to think we still reason the way we reason so we cannot change and have new things happening in our lives And I also said to you that God has provided materials that we can use to change our mind. So Romans chapter 12 verse 2 said, And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of what? Your mind. Meaning, Take away what is old in your mind and put in what is new in your mind. Remove the old mindset and put the new mindset to see new things happening in your life. I hope you are listening. What is the old mindset? The old mindset is a mentality that the world has given to us. Either you got your own mindset from your environment, your father's house, your mother's house, your school, your community. There is always a place that you got your mind from. There's always a place that you receive the mind you have. There's also a place that you got that mind from. For instance, if you have a mindset of you know everything, nothing will work for you. If you have a mindset that you know everything, you end up stagnant because you already know everything. So you are not accepting any new thing in your life. When new things are coming, because your mind has already told you that you know it already, you will open your mind to receive it. It's one of the strong enemy to our mind. Most of us know everything. There's nothing, a subject that will be raised that you don't contribute. Anything that is great, you know something about it. If you be in business, they ask you something, they say, oh, I know about it already. They ask you, I know, I know about it. Mary, I know about it already. People who always behave like they know, they don't make progress in life. Check their lives. Any human being that behaves, he knows. Doesn't see new things. He always stick with the old things that is there. That's why when God wants to bless you, God first will touch your mind, to change your mindset. After changing your mindset and introducing a new mindset to you, a new thing will start happening in your life. So what I'm trying to help you with is to give you a new mindset that will give you a new lifestyle. If you grow in an environment, where everybody is used to medicine. What I mean by medicine? Drugs. 
Somebody is sick. Immediately, that the person is feeling headache. No, they'll just prescribe, say, go to the doctor and buy either Kode or Alagui or whatever it is and come and take it. Even sometimes they have first aid in the house. I'm not against first aid, understand? They have first aid in the house. If you start feeling headache, they just go to the fed and pay paracetamol and give it to you. Something cut you small. They add injection valet. You are brought up in an environment where medicine is common to be applied. It will be difficult for you to believe in divine healing. It will be very difficult. It will be very difficult to believe in divine healing. Because you are used to a system that always provides drugs. So if somebody tell you about divine healing, how to walk in divine healing, you see it as something strange. Is it possible for me, somebody to walk in divine healing when Kode is there, when Parasitamo is there, when Pekila is there? It will be difficult for you to change it. And that is what we call a mindset. That your environment has given to you. If you're also brought up in an environment where you are very emotional, like emotional environment where people are easily, you understand, affected emotionally, it's difficult for them to see changes in their lives because emotions affect your movement. Any person that is emotional cannot move. Because on your way of movement, there are things that will touch your emotions. There are things that will affect your emotions. So if you are somebody who you are always sensitive to your emotions, you can't even settle down in marriage. Because marriage is full of bullets against emotions. I can tell you by experience, marriage is full of bullets. There are always bullets against your emotions. So if you are somebody who you have brought up an emotional environment, it's difficult for you to marry. Small thing, you become unhappy. Small thing, you redrawn. Anywhere you go, when people want to play with your emotions, you say, I, I, I don't want to be here again. I want to go to another place where people accept my emotions. So you keep running away from one place to another, one place and you never get established. Because you are emotional. Such a mindset can cause you not to see new things in your life. Have you noticed people who are brought up in America where they are? They lack self. They cannot. They, they can't concentrate on themselves. They are careless. Environment that is carelessness. You grow in an environment where your parents are careless. You grow up if you don't think you become careless. It gives you a mindset. Your father come from work and remove his shoe and throw it somewhere. Remove the sauce and throw it somewhere. Remove the shirt and throw it somewhere. You do anything anyhow. Anything anyhow. Some of you in your own room, you have not cleaned your own room for a long time. Not because you don't, but because that is the training they gave to you. That is the training they gave to you. Your socks will get missing for six months. You are looking for the source, you can't find it. You ask your wife, have you seen my source? Say, I have not seen it. That's your child. Have you seen my source? I have not seen it. The anger started rising up in you. You people are very, very dangerous people. You all are not serious people. You say you have not seen my source. Did they wear the source with you? No. <laughs> it is a mindset, a system that has been created in your mind. So when you go to any environment where people are not careless, you find it uncomfortable to stay there because you feel they are doing something too much. Why are they doing things, something too much? Everything, they are always talking about this, talking about that, talking about this. And some of you have come to church with that mindset. How am I blessing somebody today? Until the old system which has kept you in failure, disappointment, setback, 
Until that old system is changed, a new system has come, you can never see new life. That's why many of you have been in church for a very long time, yet your life is not changed. You say, we have prayed, we have fasted, we have done what the pastor told us to do, yet you are not seeing anything. Sometimes it's not what the pastor told you to do, it's because you have not had the mind change, a mindset has not been changed. Like children, we give them money to come to Sunday school. It's a mindset we are giving to them. Some of you can never give your child paper. You always give them coins because that was a mindset that was given to you. You can never give your child two CD or one CD for offering. No. You must give your child a coin because that is the mentality that was given to you when you were growing up. So change coins and share for all of you. As you dance around the offering bowl, you put it inside. So even though you are now a mature human being, you have developed, you have become, you own your own life, yet you can't give anything tangible because the old mindset has affected you negatively. So the Bible says, be not conformed to this world, but be ye what? Transformed. So the old information that you had before, you must erase that old information and implement new information that will bring new life to you. And you can only do that by faith. Are you listening to me? Some of you, the old system of destruction of marriage in your family, you understand, has affected you. Like in the olden days, people have marriage and the marriage is such that the men are the bosses of the house. They are not the head though, they are the boss. There's a difference between boss and the head. From farm. It started from the village, from farm. You see the man with cutlass in his armpit and with chewing stick. And the woman is carrying baby at the back, carrying firewood with cassava, and the man is just going up and down. He had cutlass. He'll be clearing the way. Fear. 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 As they get home, the man will go and just take his bath, sit under a tree, call friends, start drinking pan wine. The wife will go to the kitchen cook and bring it and at the night won't allow the wife to sleep so you can see that system of old marriage is still in the mind of many of you that's why you can never help your wife it's Africa you see woman carrying baby even in the house when the baby is crying yeah, yeah, yeah so your child is crying no. it's not our child your own it is a mentality of African marriage that has been established before we gave our life to Christ and some of us still have that same mentality so if they find you washing with your wife you are mumu if they find you hanging your wife dresses you are crazy if they find you assisting your wife to go to market ah this man I think this woman has cooked something for this woman to eat did this man has mommy eat something from this woman because it is, it is strange for you for this man to be following this woman everywhere he goes. It's an old mentality. Mentality of marrying and having other friends who advise you of your marriage. There are a lot of married people that have unmarried women advising them. You'll be in the house and all the friends, maybe you have about Ten friends. Only one is married. All of them are married people. And they come to your house and noise making, shouting, and they keep giving you advice. They have a system of old mindset about marriage and they are trying to impact it to you. So when you come to church and now you have to renew your mind and have a mindset. Are you listening? Have a mindset of obeying your husband, submitting to your husband, Loving your husband, it becomes a problem to tune. The tuning becomes a problem. Say, ah, how can I do that? I cannot do that too. Am I blessing you today? It's important for our mindset to change. And most of us also have a mindset of we cannot submit to any authority. Have you noticed that sometimes it's difficult for you to correspond with even church authority or authority of places? Because it is a mindset in you. 
I remember when we were building this way, workers will come. Sometimes we're looking for about 25 members, workers to come and work. And we'll have 30 workers. When they come, when some of the people will tell them, the normal pastors will take over. Some people will still wait till I come. When I come, I tell them, please accept them. Do you know why? Because they've gone to places and they have experienced work and no pay. They say, this place, before we close, pastor's money is ready to pay everybody. Am I blessing you today? So there should be a mind change, mindset change. The old mind must be changed, a new mind must be given. And how do we do that? We do that by the word of God. You study the word of God. You learn the word of God. Then when you learn it, you take the instructions from the word of God to exchange the instruction you have previously heard already. For instance, you can't submit. And the Bible says submit. Now you take that word, submission, meditate on it, think about it, and say, I'm going to submit. I'm going to obey. I'm going to do the things they are asking you to do. You take that word and meditate upon it. Then as you are meditating upon it and thinking about it, that word will have the power to remove the old word in your mind and put the new word in your mind. Am I blessing you today? This is why a lot of people have been Christians for a long time. But they, they are not seeing blessing. Because they have an old mindset which is not allowing them to see the blessings of the Lord in their lives. Let me show you something. When maybe a pastor asks you to do something in the house of God, it's not like he's trying to dominate you. He's trying to give you, show you the way for blessing. The Bible says, the labor, our labor in the Lord shall never be in vain. So if I have that knowledge in my mind, that if I do something for God, God is going to reward me. I don't need the pastor to tell me. I have the information already. So I'm functioning by the information. But if I don't have the information, I will see it as a problem. I'll see it as a problem. Like for instance, God said we should tight. And in tightening, we must tight as God wants us to tight. But our common sense will tell us that if I have to tight maybe 500 million, it's too much for a pastor or for the church to see 500 million. So let me make it 200 million and keep the 300 million. That is the sense of the world. That is the sense. That was what Ananias did. Ananias went and sold his own land and promised to bring the money. When they sold the land, instead of it to bring, they divide the money into two and brought half and left half. And left half, half. And they came pretending as if what they promised to give is exactly what they have given. It is an old mind set. So the Bible is telling us that we should not be conformed to the old mind we have, but we should renew the old mind and have a new mind set. For instance, this is not for you. It's for somebody. The old mindset tells you that if you see it, take it. Am I correct? Mm -hmm. The old mind will tell you that. Ah, I find Bible here and there's nobody here. It's for me. I take it. It's for me. But the new mindset which the Bible teaches us said that you must find the owner and give it to him. So you must take away the old mind and put on what? A new mind set to see a new life in you. Amen. The old mind tells us that when we are sick, we should confess that we are sick. When you are feeling headache, say, Oh, I'm feeling headache. I'm feeling headache. For three days now, I've been feeling severe headache and I, I, I have migraine. I have migraine. Half of my head has been failing me. And they tell you that's not the way to talk as a new creation. You don't talk that way. Then you say, ah, if my head is paining me, can't I say my head is paining me? Common sense will tell you it will expressing your feeling. But the scripture says that you are saying something negative that will affect you. So you say, I feel headache. But you cannot say, I have headache. That is a new mindset that will change your life. Amen. It's important. 
from verse 1 Genesis 26 1 and there was a famine in the land beside the first famine that was in the days of Abraham Isaac and Isaac went down unto Abimelech the king of the Philistines unto Jira 2 and the Lord appeared unto him and said go not down unto Egypt but dwell in this land which I shall tell thee of you see most often most often we think change of environment bring change of life sometimes it can happen but sometimes it cannot happen sometimes you can change environment but your life will still be the same some environment is a limitation to your progress some environment is no limitation to your progress some environment is your mind that is your limitation isaac decided to run away are you gonna isaac decided to run away from the farming land and go to a place where there's no farming and God said don't go down because the problem is not the farming the problem is you the problem is not the farming the problem is you if you can address the problem with yourself and know that it's not where you are it's what you carry where you are is not a problem it's what you carry that is a problem it's like a beautiful woman with that good, good character you can be beautiful but your character can make you not to marry it's a fact you can be very beautiful lady but you cannot settle down because you have a problem with the way you talk you have a problem with the way you express yourself you cannot say please you cannot say i'm sorry so that can be a problem to your establishment men will come into your life they will express love they will express happiness with you but they can't settle down with you because your way of talking pisses them off there's a way you can talk and there's a way you can talk you can say please i'm sorry and there's a way you say i'm sorry i'm sorry it is i'm sorry it's the same i'm sorry but the way you present it has affected you so there's a lot of beautiful christian women we cannot which cannot marry not because nobody is coming but because their beauty is deceiving them that because they are beautiful somebody will propose and marry them You'll be surprised that sometimes you can be beautiful but no man can stay with you in the house somebody can be very ugly but somebody can stay with them it's not the beauty you are going to look at it's the character you are going to look at are you listening to this that is the reason why we must take time to renew our mind from the old mindset if you're a woman who insult men, you are someone who insult men. I can promise you can marry. You can never marry. So our mindset must be what change. And how? We must use the word of God to change our mind. May God help you to understand the message of God and do it. You took my place, you showed me.